Hey, what's up? It's your girl Zyla, and you are now tuning in to season one of The Royal Sit Down, a podcast show dedicated and created to bring you hoodoo related everything, right down to the hoodoo related TikTok videos and the classic hoodoo tips we all know and love. So, without further ado, come sit with me while I talk hoodoo. So, first off, I would like to just welcome everybody here in this space because you could have been anywhere else, but hey, you're here with me. And we're just going to take that moment as being sacred. And during this sacred time, I want to discuss a hoodoo tip that I would recommend if you want somebody to communicate more or you want them to communicate or you want to communicate with them. It is known as the classic hummingbird ritual. Now, this ritual is a special communication ritual because it's used to send love messages to a specific person. Whatever person you have in mind, it is sending sweet melodies, sweet notions, like sweet energy, sweet words to that person ear. Especially if that person is not trying to answer your calls or at, or answer your text messages, which is crazy because let me put it to you like this. That is modern day communication and it is not effective at all. You can misinterpret things. I don't, I mean, like for real, our ancestors didn't have phones or wasn't able to communicate the way that we communicated and I feel like if I was born back in those days I would have definitely been using a hummingbird candle a hummingbird spell to send messages to the man that I was in love with just so he can feel my energy and you know what the special thing about this hummingbird spell is that the person can actually hear you I have got feedback to where the person was like I could hear you in my dreams or I could hear you here or I could hear you there that's how powerful the hummingbird spell is and you know it's very popular that you can find it in your local grocery stores here in Texas they actually have a candle a hummingbird candle Mm mm-hmm Yeah. Now, if you cannot find the hummingbird candle itself, you can opt out for a pink one. You can opt out for a red one. And if you don't have any colors to choose from, you can always go with white, you know, and the type of in like the type of ingredients or herbs you would use would be herbs to attract you know, herbs of love, herbs of affection, you know, you can do your research and you can find which herbs would suit you best. But I do know that a classic one that I can share with you here today would be roses or cinnamon. Cinnamon is good when you want to attract something, you know, and then we also have the roses because you, everybody know, oh, if I give you some roses, then you know what? You can feel that love, right? Okay, so roses are very romantic, very passionate. It represents love. So you can use those. And somebody also asked me, what would be the best herbs to use? Should they be um, dried out already? Yes, the best herbs should be dried out. Okay, so moving on from that, just to let you know that when you are going to do your hummingbird ritual, then you are going to put together a petition, you know, saying, hey, baby, 
this is what I want to say to you. I want you to hear me. Hummingbird, send this to him. Send this to her. There's really no need to, um, I'm going to say this, and I hope y'all don't take this in the wrong way. There is really no need for you to message the person, especially if you're going to be doing a spell like the hummingbird spell because you want the spell to be effective right so that means you're gonna have to allow the spirit to take control and do what it is you need to do so try to refrain um, from messaging that person kind of wait to see if the what the spell is gonna do before you pretty much reach out and if you do reach out kind of lightly reach out don't reach out so dominant like hey what you doing can't we meet up just kind of be like hey i was thinking about you and i just wanted to say hey have a good day you know something sweet something nice something simple let the hummingbird do its job okay so if you're going to use some oil you can use oil simple communication oil and you can go to your local you know mythological shops and or botanicas for that okay so however in the meantime use your communication ritual wisely keep in mind that you do not want to be aggressive during this moment you don't want to be pushy during this time you just want your love and energy to be reciprocated all right so when you are doing this ritual make sure that your headspace is in the right headspace as long as this candle is on which means as long as this candle is lit you don't want to speak ill of this person's name you just want to speak positive things because you want this person to hear your positive thoughts and feel your positive energy all right so in the meantime practice hoodoo wisely hit me up on tiktok all right and follow me on patreon you can google zala royals and you will find every single thing that you need to find you will also be able yeah i just had to say that huh i know for real but seriously if you need to get in touch with me you can just google how to get in touch with me and find the real me because i know that there's a lot of you know fake zala royals or and hoodoo bangings going around so there you have it but however guys if you want to submit your questions for hoodoo tips you can always hit me up on instagram at hoodoo banging <laughs> i love you guys this was fun and we're just kicking this off we're just getting started and i just want i just encourage you guys to participate and i thank you for your support i love you guys and peace out <laughs>